Welcome back. We're going to take a look at KZ's new EDC. So the EDC is another in the series of ED after EDX and EDX Pro. The distinguishing factor on distinguishing feature on EDC is the non-removable cable. So when we look at it up close, it actually looks like it it's a typical removable KZ cable, but it is not. Uh, so don't try to pull it off. And if you look at the faceplate, I think this is a new style for KZ as well. If you look at it from the side, there's almost a dome of clear resin or clear plastic, and it acts like a lens. So the way it catches the light and reflects against um, the metal plate beneath, you can kind of see the KZ logo. So kind of a super cool new design that uh, KZ has implemented on the EDC. The bottom is uh, smoked quite dark. You can barely see what's down in there. Tip-wise, this looks like a KZ white star tip, yet it is not. Um, let me see if I can pull these up side by side. So on the old, on the old KZ ED, EDX, this one right here, and I don't think it's actually going to show up on camera at all, but this one actually does have a star pattern. Uh, so this is sort of the white star line tip. This new EDC tip is not quite, there's no star pattern on it. So I think it is uh, a bit of a new style. I don't know if it's the new budget style or uh, what they're going for, but looks similar, but no star pattern. So my favorite part about the EDC, the cable. So it's actually a bicolor cable. So if you look at it up close, you'll see the red, the right side actually has a red stripe and the left side is uh, has a little green stripe. And that stripe runs all the way through into both sides. So when you look at each side, you know, the right side right here has that red stripe and this one has the green stripe. Uh, get on the other side. So kind of a cool thing, kind of a new thing. I think KZ and CCA have been playing with these flatter side-by-side -side two core cables for a bit. And uh, this is the first time that uh, I see the red and the green. So that's pretty cool. And then you get the standard uh, 90 degree 3.5 millimeter as uh, you get on a normal KZ stock cable. So the box itself is uh, slightly new. It's kind of a slimmer packaging. No, because uh, there's no little compartment for cables, but you do get the extra compartment for tips. So it's a little bit, uh, a little bit smaller, more compact packaging, possibly reflecting the very affordable price on EDC as well. So we're going to walk through EDC um, sort of in comparison to EDX and ZEX, you know, two popular models that people may or may not have. And there's kind of a couple distinguishing features. So starting with EDC, so EDC is, is the green line. So right off in the base, you can see the EDC has a reduced base compared to its brother, the EDX. The EDX is actually quite a basic set. The EDX Pro is actually basier, and the line would be above the EDX level. So you can see that EDC brought down the base level almost um, just a hair under what ZEX is. And ZEX is this purple line. So for those of you who may have recently purchased ZEX and said that's you know barely enough base for me, or it's the perfect level base for me, EDC is kind of right there at that same level very much uh, a dip below EDX or EDX Pro, for those of you who may have picked that one up recently on 11.11. And it definitely follows the same neutral-ish, you know, not quite as boosted as a typical KZ like an EDX. It follows this gentle slope, you know, still carries some energy into the mids, but, um, you know, that lower half is very similar to the ZEX, and for those of you who like the lower half on the ZEX, then EDC is sort of right there um, along with it. So I'll talk about the mids in a second. So we have this sub-bass roll-off. It doesn't quite go as deep as I would want it, and I said the same thing about ZEX. Um, it's punchy, I'll give it that, but as far as it's definitely more of a neutral, just enough style bass for me. And then you know, when we look at 2K, you have almost three variations of, of KZ gain right here. So the EDC, which is the one that people were most likely to complain about, 
you know, the highest peak at 2K or just after 2K. And I think that was one of the major complaints about ED EDX. And that's also why you see that EDX Pro would actually be slightly below the EDX level. And this year in 2021, uh, KZ had this habit of bumping up the bass a little bit, as you would find on Pro, and bringing this gain down a little bit, as you find on Pro as well. So they shifted the, the dynamic a little bit to... You know, I think that was based on feedback, especially from the EDX, where this is just a little bit sharp for some people, but not too bad. And then when we look at what ZEX did, it kind of it actually rose a little bit earlier, but not nearly as much. And I think people really were fond of that level of gain right there. I think that's much easier on most people's ears compared to where uh, EDX is, especially for people who listen at a higher volume. ZX is a much easier going set in that respect, especially as these female vocals rise into this area, not nearly as sharp or as intense as something like EDX. And um, EDX Pro is a little bit above ZEX, so you get more of a V-shape sound signature, whereas ZEX is kind of a more easygoing, slight, shallow V, um, kind of at the most. So what EDC did is you almost get a more neutral-ish signature. So you get this really shallow bass into the mids and then this very late rise. And they rose, you know, right at four, that's about probably four and a half K. And this spot is sort of a familiar for people who like um, a little bit of intensity to have a little bit more resolution or detail. Um, that's what this bump tends to do. And they did this because the mids themselves, my first impression listening to the EDC was it sounded a little bit soft, a little bit low resolution. There's not a ton of detail to it. And I think it's price appropriate considering how much this costs. But this new driver, I think, lost a little bit of the detail and the resolution from EDX or ZEX. And I think this was a very purposeful, intentional way to try to bump some more apparent detail into this area. So just looking at, just listening to vocals, they sound a bit too soft, not enough detail, a bit kind of murky and cloudy. Um, you know, I'm not sure I complain so much considering the price, but I think this tuning and why it's peaked right here, I think is exactly why they did that. And it's just to clean up this little bit here. And it's also why the bass level is a bit lower to keep it from getting even more cloudy, less clarity, less transparency. So I understand that part. And then it it really drops off quite a bit. This is, you know, non-fatiguing treble levels, um, you know, 100% right there. So again, if EDX, the treble levels were slightly elevated, People, you know, may have been more fatigued at that level. ZEX is kind of in the same ballpark. It just brought down the peaks a little bit. So you still get tons of detail, lots of detail in the treble, lots of overtones. Mids sound pretty good. No one really complained that the vocals were murky or cloudy. And then you look at where EDC is, and they really, this is almost an inverted V. You've got this very low roll off slow roll off on the bass and then you get this down slope on the treble and what really st strikes me is is this this piece right here the part that's elevated is the part that is going to stick out so these you know maybe that's guitars for you maybe that's female vocals but there's you know this rise to this point everything else falls off from that point including the bass so for me, it's kind of a weird tuning. Um, I sort of, like I said, I understand why they did some things here on the tuning wise to make up for this new low cost driver, which you know may not give them the detail that they wanted without forcing a peak here. But you know, at the end of the day, I'm still a fan of the EDX. It's still, you know, not you know perhaps one of my favorite. You know, for the price, it's definitely one of my favorite sets, and I'm a V-shape fan as well. So the EDX with the big boost on the bass, big treble, it's classic uh, KZ. So the triple peak coming down from 
the treble, also a kind of a signature house sound uh, signature for KZ. You see the same triple peak. It just, you know, the levels are way down compared to where they were for EDX. So, yeah, so I get it, you know, that people, some people are really into very non-fatiguing treble, but when this level affects the clarity here, um, that's where I sort of have issues, and I think that's what happened to EDC. So a nice set, affordable, but uh, I probably wouldn't take it over EDX or ZEX. Uh, for the price, it's a good set. If you want something with a non-removable cable, um, you know, if you're a KZ fan, a collector, then it's interesting, but um, probably not my favorite uh, new KZ of the year. I do have an EDS on the way as well, so I have a feeling that one will be a little bit of a step above EDC, so I'm looking forward to getting that in my hands. So again, thank you guys for tuning in, and I will see you next time.